Hi, my name's Amy. I run the dance shoe review blog Salsa Feet, and today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between Jingas and Tegras. Um, now, if you're looking for salsa shoes, you'll already know that a lot of people choose these kind of lightweight Brazilian dance shoes um, for a variety of reasons. They're pretty flexible, um, they're pretty light, they can go in the washing machine. There's a whole bunch of reasons, um, apart from being extremely stylish, why you might choose um, these kind of shoes. And Jinkas and Tegras are pretty much the main contenders in this area, so I thought I'd let you know what I think of each of them. I have had these Jingas for about eight years. I bought them for five pounds secondhand off eBay and they are just now starting to fall apart. So you can see that they're doing pretty well um, for the time that I've had them. That does mean, however, that in this review, I'm talking about a Jinga which is a little bit out of date. If you look on the website, you'll see that they've changed up their soles so they no longer have this ridgy sole. Um, but the design otherwise seems pretty similar. Um, at the moment, Jinkas are coming in slightly more expensive than Tegras. Um, so a pair in this style will cost about 95 US dollars. Um, and they also have a kind of a slightly more upmarket um, model which comes in at about 150 US dollars. So they're the more expensive end of the scale. Uh, but I mean, the fact that these were secondhand and have lasted me about eight years gives you an idea of how durable they actually are. Generally speaking, the Tegras are a little bit cheaper than Jingas, so they come in around 75 US dollars. Um, I actually ordered these from the Australian website, um, and it turns out that they're stocking some of the older styles, so they also have this ridged um, sole, where in fact, if you look at the main US website for Tegra, um, they've gone towards a slightly more streamlined sole uh, with stripes down the centre as well. Um, so they're looking fairly similar at this point. Um, obviously these are a bit cheaper, which is nice, and they come in really, really exciting um, <laughs> styles, as you can see. So, um, let's get down to the construction of the shoes. I'm going to show you some comparisons um, and let you make your choice about what you think is the best value for money, basically. In previous uh, posts, you'll have seen me write about um, eyelets. And as you can see, the Jingas and the Tegras have two different types of eyelets. So the Jingas have this metal on both sides, the metal ring, and the Tegras have this star on the inside. Um, now, what I'm reliably informed by my partner, who wears a lot more flat dance shoes than I do, is these star-shaped eyelets are much quicker um, to, to pop apart um, and to um, come apart from the other side. Um, so that's gonna mean that your shoe doesn't last quite as long as maybe it should. Um, moving on from there, the soles I'm pretty sure are identical and even looking at the website and looking at the new ranges for both of these, I have to say that they still look pretty similar, same materials. This one is more flexible simply because I've worn it more so you can see that it moves really nicely. Um, this one would hopefully get there. But on the inside though, it starts to change a little bit. So I immediately realised that the Tegras had this um, kind of odd looking sole which looks like a bit of an afterthought, which isn't actually... Um, stuck down in any way, so that's going to start to move around pretty quickly. The Jingas one looks similar, but it's kind of, um, it's been stuck down there and it hasn't moved. I have to say that I've never had that issue where you take your foot out and the sole comes with it. And although they seem pretty similar in terms of the makeup of these two soles, the Jingas just feel so much softer. As you can see, they're also slightly different on the sides, and I think the makeup of this side piece also means that the Jinga actually comes around to fit your foot a little bit better compared to the Tegra. Obviously, the Jinga's been worn in over a number of years, the Tegra's may soften up, um, but I have to say that I feel like um, the fit is much nicer on the Jinga. It's much closer, and the shoes feel more padded as well. Other reasons you might choose them are that they actually work on a whole bunch of floors because of these soles. So you can see that the Jinga is quite worn in. This one actually isn't spinning very fast at the moment because it's brand new. Um, but they do tend to work on a bunch of soles, in, uh, a bunch of floors, sorry, including outdoors, um, stone floors, uh, tile floors, all kinds of different floors. Um, what I will say about these types of shoes generally is they don't have a lot of support. So the Jingas I found marginally softer and they don't seem to have quite as much impact on the ball of the foot as the Tegras. Um, the, the padding seems a little bit thinner, perhaps a little bit cheaper. Um, so I feel like my, the ball of the foot is touching the floor. However, you may find that you actually need more supportive shoes than that. And if you check the blog, you'll find that there are a variety of flat shoes available. I've got a few posts for you to choose from there, which will help you make your choices, send you to some interesting websites, 
Um, obviously, if you need more supportive shoes, these really are probably going to be a little bit flimsy. Um, let me know if you have Jinga's Tegras, what you think. If you have the new brand, I'd love to hear some reviews of that. So you can get in touch with me on the blog or on the Facebook page, perhaps. Um, and let me know, so show me some pictures of your um, Brazilian dance shoes. Tell me what you think and what you recommend.